Hello, I'm reporting from this ancient temple where I learned an ancient secret with which you can create really interesting chord progressions that you might not have thought of before using pentatonic scales. Let's go back to my room thousands of miles and centuries away and I'll show you the method. Let's make a cool chord progression using a pentatonic scale. Now a pentatonic scale could be any scale that has just five notes in it. It doesn't have to be the typical major and minor pentatonic scales that people are used to seeing that look like this. It can be any scale with five notes in it. So, for this example, I'd like to use one of my favorite pentatonic scales that's based on C Phrygian, and it's got a C, a D flat, an F, a G, and an A flat. Sounds like this. I'll do it up an octave. It's a very pretty scale, and um, it's got five notes in it, so it's a pentatonic scale. And I wrote it out here. Recently, as a fake doctor, I got fake tenure, and now I have more reliable fake income, so I have high-budget tools like a purple marker and paper that's pre-lined. It comes with the lines on it. So here's our scale, and the way we're going to form the chords is we're going to form one three-note chord starting on each of these scale tones, and we're going to form these three-note chords by taking the first note, then skipping a note in the scale, and picking the next one after that, skipping another. So take the first note, then every other note. For example, our first chord will be C, F, A flat. C, F, A flat. So I'm going to write that down, just so I remember. C, F, A flat. Okay, our next chord will be D flat, G, then we'll skip to C. All right. D flat, G, C. Okay, next we'll do F, A flat, C. No, no we won't. We'll do F, A flat, D flat, because we have to skip every other one. F, A flat, D flat. Okay, let's see. G, C, F. Okay, G, C, F. All right, and then finally we'll have A flat, Skip to D flat, then G. A flat, D flat, G. All right, so we've got five triads now. A flat, D flat, G. We have five three note chords, and I will play them for you. Let's hear how this chord progression sounds. All right, so first was C, F, A flat. Then we had D flat, G, uh, D flat, sorry, okay. So first we had C, F, A flat. Then we had D flat, G, C. Then we had F, A flat, D flat. Then we had G, C, F. Then, finally, we had A flat, D flat, G. Wow. So it sounds like this. pretty. All right, so there you go. That's a cool chord progression, and that's how I made it. I took a pentatonic scale, and I formed a bunch of three-note chords based on each note in the scale, and you get awesome sounds like this. And of course, you don't have to play those chords in that order. You can skip around. play them in different inversions all over the neck. It's a great way to learn the fretboard better is to find them in other places on the neck. And so you just take your time, come up with some cool chords, and then you know at least one scale that's definitely going to work over these chords, the pentatonic scale on which those chords are based. So now I'm going to go and loop that chord progression um, and solo over a little so you can hear how the pentatonic scale and those chords sound together. <laughs> 